So what is a block? Well, that's a block. And to me, a block is a little grouping of notes that you can play over and over again. And it usually has three elements. Accents, ghost notes, and kick. Now, just to give you a little backstory on this new series, a few months ago, I started posting blocks on Instagram. And it went really well, and I really love doing it. And I'm still going to do it, I still love doing it. But trying to keep it under a minute, it doesn't really satisfy my educator soul. I want to show this to you slowly. I want to break it down. I want to tell you how to use it. So for me, YouTube is the true home for blocks. So YouTubers, I'm gonna take off my jacket, we're gonna jump on the kit, and I'll break this block down for you. All right, before we dive into the chop, let's talk about the kit. This is the White USA Custom, clear two-ply heads. These are Aquarian Response 2s, and the Keith Carlock Brass Ping! God. All right, so why this kit? Why is this up here right now? Well, I'm in the middle of filming some new stuff for Sessions. If you haven't tried out Sessions yet on MikeSlessons.com, please do so. I've been doing videos for you guys for almost two decades now on YouTube. You know I'm not a big salesperson, so please trust me that when I tell you that Sessions is a game changer, it really is. Please try it out. The growth I've seen in our students since launching Sessions about a year ago has been insane. I want you to experience that same growth. Moving on, that's why this kit's out here. Let's talk about the chop. All right, so with this block of eight notes, very simple. We've got right, left, left. There are dynamics involved in those first three notes. The right is accented, the two lefts are ghost note, followed by two kicks, followed by right, left accented, followed by a bass drum. Yes, that's a ton of stuff to keep track of in the beginning, but you will memorize it. It just takes a little bit of time. So once again, we've got right, left, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick. Let's try it incredibly slow. And with a block of notes like this, you don't have to worry like, are you fast enough to play it? Most likely, you are fast enough to play it. What's gonna slow you down is your brain trying to remember. It, uh, it's an accent, then it's two lefts. So just go slow and allow your brain to absorb it. Don't rush, you don't have to, as soon as you get it done once, go That's not gonna help your brain. Your brain needs you to stay there and just keep doing it perfect, perfect, perfect. And then it'll memorize it and go, all right, we've got that. Now go ahead and use your raw speed. Speaking of raw speed, we're going to be playing this as 32nd notes. So we were at 40 BPM as 16th notes. Now let's go to 50 BPM as 32nd notes. Oh, and we're going to do it as a fill so you can get used to that transition. So one bar of groove followed by one bar of this block. Once again, speed is just gonna be about repetition, getting in the reps, allowing your brain to memorize that block of eight notes. Once you feel like you've got the speed, then it comes down to orchestration and finding out, well, what's the best sound for you? What do you, now obviously we all want freedom, but freedom sometimes can sound like chaos. So I like to pick an orchestration that's almost repetitive in itself and it's like, well, that's what I really like. My favorite orchestration is this. which at our goal tempo of 80 BPM sounds like this. Ooh, 
love that fill. That fill is so much fun to play. Now, it's overindulgent, please. Please don't do this on all your gigs. And no, you're not going to get fired because you played a fill. But you might not get asked back. <laughs> all right, YouTubers, have fun with this. Make it your own by changing the orchestration. Maybe change the end of it. If you could hear in that last version, I changed the last eight notes to right, left, left kick. I did that twice in a row like this. So obviously you can season this thing to taste as much as you like. And the more that you tweak it, the more proud I'd be of you because I want you to make it your own. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you'll practice the HE double hockey sticks out of this. Check out mikeslessons.com to get started on your first session and get your first week free. But until next time, go practice.